do we think we have strong enough stuff to make it to the to the mun maybe i'll do one attempt before calling it we're gonna go to the mun we're not gonna land on it we're gonna go nearby it the mun is eleven thousand kilometers away from us which is quite the journey and i believe we do have the mission active yeah just explore the mun simply pass by it it doesn't give specifics for how close we need to be so i really don't know so we're just gonna hope for the best yeah let's start from scratch here if we're gonna do this so if we're going around in space, our last thing is going to have to be our Terrier, right? So we're going to have a nice little fuel tank for our Terrier. And then down below that, we're going to have a lot more fuel. So then we're going to have some radial decouplers. And then we are going to bring on four thumpers. Glorious. And four little aerodynamic nose caps. So the idea is for these to get me off the ground. I'm pretty sure our thrust probably is not going to want to be that high. I'm going to go 60%. I'm going to need to rotate though. So I think I still will add basic fins just down below. And then we're going to take a look at our various things. Center mass is where you'd expect. Center thrust is below. Oh, everything lines up pretty nicely. All right. So then our staging is pretty simple. We start with this. Then we do a good old detach. And then I think we wait to launch, have this go. And then I think we detach again. And I think we wait on this and we detach again. And then we're going to want one more stage. Drogue shoots first. You know how it is. Everything seems pretty standard here. This seems pretty nice. Well, our first trip to the moon. We're just going to go nearby it. In theory, let's see if it works out. Wish me luck. SAS on. Throttle up. When I go into map view, can I actually do this now? There is the moon. So I've got to aim for that. This, this flying is going to be really weird. If I don't get this, I'll do the tutorial off stream. Because the flying is going to be different than trying to go into orbit. Oh, so I should get into orbit. I see. All right, let go. We're pretty slow, but I'm hoping that we're efficient. Ooh, I can rotate this. Very nice. At 250, I think I want to turn even more. Your astronaut got struck, stuck in orbit. What do you do? I'm not the person to ask. Uh, F to you, buddy. Maybe someone else knows how to help you. It's probably possible to retrieve. I just don't know how. All right. So here's how is it going to go. We're going to need to rotate. Get ready to detach. Oh, glorious. So then, hold on. Then we do this and we go more this way. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to slow this down. We're probably way too high, right? 90... 90k okay so maybe i cut it right i cut it and i get ready so 90k so then we're gonna get us in orbit and then i'm just gonna gun it all right smooth start though this is pretty nice we're gonna be slowing down though quite a bit maybe i want to do it a bit before so let's speed this up a bit now you ready we're gonna burn it soon real soon we're gonna burn it i think now i think we burn it let go so then all right we're widening it we're going to go fully horizontal now. Just wait till we get orbit. Nice. Oh, this is looking real good. It's looking clean. If we go two for two on orbits. Uh, hopefully it's fine if we pass the apoapsis. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I, I can't imagine that screwing me. If I go up, they'll probably help, though. Because now I'm moving this apoapsis. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's real bad. Alright, just continue. Alright, we'll hope it's efficient, I guess. We're just going to get orbit, then. For now. I mean, orbit with a lot to spare. It will be nice at least. Wait, let's cut it. How high is this? Good. It's good. We're in orbit. With plenty of fuel to spare. So, so I assume we're going to have to do some sort of gravity thing. Right click in the orbit to add a maneuver. Wow. So I've never done maneuvers before. This is going to be weird. So do I have to just try to launch myself out physically? at the moon 
It will tell you exactly what to do to get to the moon. Okay, so I'll click on this. Add maneuver. What do you mean it'll tell you exactly what you need to do to go to the moon? This doesn't... <laughs> I definitely need to do the tutorial. This is not helpful. I have no idea what any of these do. Green speeds up and slows down. Blues go... Blue goes in and out from the center of orbit. Purple or, or rotates orbit around that point. What point? So the maneuver point. Okay. Right. So this seems to make it worse. So I should probably be doing it this way. Okay. And we probably want to wait till it's level. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Perfect. Perfect. Now I have to get here, then burn is the idea. And it'll become this new orbit. There's a burn time here. Okay, sure. So 15 and a half seconds is what I specifically want. Okay. And then this bar is basically my progress. Feels like I'm figuring this shit out by myself. And go. So whenever that progress bar is gone, I will press X. That's not too bad. If I'm a little bit off, is it fine? Like, if I do it either a little bit before or a little bit after, it's probably fine. So it's cool. We're adjusting our orbit to this new orbit. So are we going to have to do this multiple times? Alright, we're close enough. So probably once more, right? So now we make it longer, which was... Fuck, was that blue? I already forget. So there's the moon. So we're not gonna hit it. So now I move this thing physically, right? But now it comes in. Just do more prograde, doesn't matter. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see how this lines up now. Oh God. Okay, we're fine. Uh-huh. Wait, I want this? So what's the deal here? We're gonna encounter the moon, right? But it looks like we're out of fuel here. That means you intersect the moon's influence, so that's the point of the mission. So then the purple line is... The green orbit is the orbit you'll get after you fly by the moon. Okay. And then this is our escape. God, this is so weird. Yeah, I would like to be near the parapsis. Let's see if I can just wait it out more and maybe try to get nearer the parapsis. Alright, so this is what we're looking at. It's a 30 second maneuver at 580 meters per second, and we will naturally fall into Kerbin. So we only need to get out. So, okay. Well, fuck it. Let's let's jump to the thing and let's see what happens. So then I just wait for T minus 15 and I gun it. Get ready. 19, 18, 17, 16, and 15. Here we go. So wait for T. Well, just wait for this to come zero, then I cut it. Okay, it looks like we will be able to get it. Little bit more, little bit more. So put it on blue, send it. Good enough? I've, let's take a look. All right, so it looks like our orbit's gonna intersect with the moon, and then we're gonna, this is gonna be our new orbit. Well, what's the purple orbit? Isn't the purple orbit how you're supposed to escape? What happened to the uh, green one? Green, purple, the same thing. I don't know why they don't make them the same color, for real. All right, well, fuck it. Whatever happens, happens. We're, we're gonna gun it, let's speed it up. 50 times speed to try to intersect with this. Yeah, it'll probably work in a couple orbits, right? <laughs> Maybe not this orbit, but the next one. All right, now it's solid purple. This is good. So here's where the encounter is in four days. Hopefully he has enough food for all this. It'll automatically stop you when you transfer orbits. Okay, well, our orbits are gone now. So is, is it going to have to be like multiple orbits? Yeah, so faster is what I'm hearing. 10,000 times speed? <laughs> okay maybe this time there's the moon look at that it's coming right at us well let's speed it up again 100 times and a thousand times here we go It's slowing me down. <gasps> We're 
on the moon. We're hooked. We're hooked on the moon. Yo, that means that means we're we were on it, right? And we're gonna rotate around, and probably this will meet up with that over here, and hopefully it won't send me. Check parapsis. Nine thousand meters. This is fine, right? Once we get under 10k, I'm gonna do science. Let's speed it up a bit more now. Jeez, this is really tight. I did not expect it to be this close. So let's take a look at this. This is how close we are to it. Giant moon, and this is the distance. Nine kilometers. All right, get ready. We're approaching, slow it down. We're getting real close, 10 times. All right, let's take a look. Oh, it's the moon. There it is. Look at that. It looks like we're going to hit it, but according to our map, we're safe. Slow it down. All right, fuck it. Let's run some science. Material study. 75 science. Okay. And let's close the doors as well. Let's, um, let's get some pressure. 36 science. And let's get some... T temperature should be on the same side. Some temperature. 24 science. Should I do an EVA? Is it safe now? I won't detach or anything, but it's safe. Okay, fuck it. EVA. Uh, click on him. EVA report. 24 science. Nice. And board. It's always safe if you don't let go. Well, we've made it. To the moon we're not gonna land we're gonna pass by at a narrow height of 9,000 meters oh a crew report yeah 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 good call crew report 15 science all right oh let's just enjoy the view get to see the craters of the 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 moon some big craters here jeez dip below 10k so we're not in the atmosphere what, atmosphere starts at 7,000, 9,000? We're fine. We're chilling. I just want to make sure this goes, this number goes up shortly. It should be, right? No atmosphere? So what does this imply? There's just, there's just simply no atmosphere at all. I don't know why I thought there was an atmosphere. Maybe there's just one that like humans couldn't breathe in, but uh, I, don't, I don't read up on this stuff, so I don't know how it works. The bar is just always there. But anyways, we are going away from the moon now, so we're not going to crash. We are, we are just constantly escaping, which is nice. We could look at the land difference. 7,000 away from land, still escaping there. So let's take a look at the map now. So what's going on here? So I assume this line and this line are eventually going to become the same. That's what's going to happen. And I won't need to do anything. It's just naturally going to happen. Nothing to worry about, hopefully. That's true. Who knows what's going to happen. I will have to do a tiny burn at Apoapsis. So, retrograde, is that the idea? To make the orbit smaller? That's the plan, because it looks like we overshoot it. Check my perlapse. If it's below 70, the air will slow me down. It's 290,000. So, we're on our way to our Apoapsis. And our goal is to get the periapsis, whatever, to be between 30,000 and 40,000. I will have to very carefully do it. Like, it's going to be, I'm sure, sure as fuck not uh, full sending. Yeah, I could probably just do it now, right? As long as I just keep an eye on this. Probably just good. Tiny burn. Uh-oh. Well, it's slowly decreasing. Almost. Get very close. A little bit more. Uh, a little bit more? That's perfect, right? Per 40k, right on the nose. And we got some fuel, so it's fine. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to warp to about here. Just so I can get a better view of what's going on. Warp here. 10,000 times speed. All right, we're getting close to Kerbin. We're about 13 minutes away from the Paralapsis. So I'll even warp to like here. Okay, so now we go to here. We're getting close. So we're staying on retrograde. So we can burn a bit. 
Yeah, we burn, we burn, we burn. I think we even use up all our fuel. fuel. We just want to slow the fuck down. Slow the fuck down. Just keep burning. We're good. Not even in the atmosphere yet. Perfect. And goodbye. All right, so here's us. I'll never see it again. Like I was going to see it again anyways. <laughs> All right, so we're descending now. Coming into the atmosphere, I think. Let me take a look at this. Well, allegedly, right? Hopefully the atmosphere slows us down. We're in the atmosphere right now. We're burning. We got our heat shield. I should have double heat shielded. 100%. One heat shield. There's no way, right? Well, hopefully we don't burn up. We're slowing down. Okay, heat shield seems normal. Slowing down. Massively slowing down. Why is my cam spinning? Oh god. Like a missile. Spin? For real? I don't care if I lose the batteries. I don't give a shit about them. So I'm like a spinning bullet just constantly? I'm just scared to spin too fast. Fuck it, we spin. We're spinning. <laughs> I don't, I'm just scared. <laughs> It's still burning. Jeb is hanging in there. It might be a little nauseous. We're slowing down, though. We're below 2,000, below 1,500. Lads, I think we're going to make it. <laughs> well, we have learned a lot today. We have learned so much about this damn game. I can even shoot these off. I'll just do it now. Can we get a mission? Wait, wait, can we get... Hold on, can we get a mission? Can we, can we do this? The XL parachute. Can we, can we get this on top of everything? Our altitude's good. We got a mission! <laughs> Let's go! What a successful run! A beautiful moon flyby, terrifying, because basically my tutorial was chat. Uh, this was interesting, having chat be the tutorial instead of normal tutorial. I think for future reference, I'm gonna do the normal tutorial, just so I can put on a better show for you guys, but this was a very interesting experience. On top of everything else, we, um, you know, we got a nice, smooth landing. We got a mission. We got two missions if you include the big moon one. This this was nice. And now we know a lot about doing maneuvers as well. So we'll be able to do a maneuver. <laughs> going to Minmus. Going to everywhere else. Just having a good time. This was sick. Uh, well, we landed. We landed beautifully. Perfect landing. This was a long mission. This took longer than I thought. Over an hour, I think. Let's retrieve our parts and call it a day. So a casual 186 science from being near the moon. That's nice. We are going to get some sick upgrades next time we're playing. We got 2 XP for Jebediah. Dude, I'm proud of him. I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys all for coming out. This was a lot of fun. We really did learn a lot this stream. I can't wait to see what next stream has in store. Next, very next stream will probably be Bridge Game, most likely.